When demand reaches new heights, there's always a question about supply. So far, so good. As geese compete for grass at Ruby Hill Park, people flock to the nearby parking lot. Quicker we test them, quicker we can provide care for them. Where Tony Diaz assures there's no shortage of COVID tests. Today's actually a pretty good day for Monday. The testing branch director with Denver Department of Public Health and Environment helped open the new site at Ruby Hill Monday to relieve pressure on places like Paco Sanchez Park. That testing site reached capacity at 9.30 on Sunday and will stay closed until the city trains new staff. Staffing is uh, the biggest challenge. Um, we're, we um, hired 35 new staff this week. We tried very hard to get them trained and onboarded. Um, we couldn't get it done fast enough, so we, we made the decision to close Paco to open this one up. But even the city's newest testing site couldn't make it through a full day. DDPHE tweeted the Ruby Hill site closed at 1.30 due to wait times caused by, quote, earlier technology issues. By next Monday, Denver plans to have all four of its community testing sites open. We do have about 2,000 test kits available to us for all four sites. Sites that will have to stay open to keep up with demand. Noel Brennan, 9 News.